It's gonna full swing. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Big boy. What is up guys? How is it going? It is Fake Hero here. And uh, as cool as this deck is, I do not recommend climbing with it. But hey, if you wanna play some of that Articon, I think pairing him with Spectral Matron is fantastic. Nonetheless, enjoy this couple of games here today and have a good day. And if you could, drop a like on the video. Peace. Now, Darkwater Scourge and Mask Mother together is kind of cracked. Time for any more time! There's plenty of killing left. Okay. I thought you'd never ask. We'll just swing with the undying here. Free attack. Let's get to it. Yeah, we'll just use the black spear now. That crystal. Sending it face instead. Interesting. We should probably use one of these mask mothers, maybe. Do ya? Um, yeah, we just want to do this. Play Mask Mother. Is he gonna kill it? Pretty expensive Thermo Beam or whatever this card might be. Just to deny my mask mother value. I mean, fair enough. Death begins your forever fable. This is a good swing. Because he has to block this with the Jagged Butcher. This gets to attack in. I mean, we're still going to swing with the Mask Mother, get the healing. Opponent's contemplating whether or not to block something here. Interesting pause. I guess you just tank seven here. Fortunately for him, I'm not playing atrocity, so. The decision making there should be a lot easier. I mean, this could be a win. Like, if we do manage to find Spectral Matron, get that on turn seven, we should be chilling. Time for a true display of skill. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Gotcha. So I guess we're going to lean towards playing one of these Islanders to reduce the cost of one of these to maybe playing on turn 9. Uh, open attack here seems fine. 
minus the one. He might be hesitant to block with Ezreal here because I could bluff the uh, Vile Feast. Or even Black Spear. So in that case, he probably still blocks with Ezreal anyway. Maybe there might be a better way to build this deck. Maybe building this deck more aggressively is the way to go. Instead of like trying to be a bit more controlly with the Mask Mother and the Undying. Because I've seen a few lists. Oh, wow, it's a flip Dez. Wait. They don't know what they're up against. Yeah. He was relying on a high roll there to hit the Ezreal proc. We have Vengeance. Vengeance could be a fine kill for the Ezreal if needed. There's Matron. I'm more than I'm more than happy just to gem a vengeance into his face. Watch and learn. This is absolutely fine. The cool thing about Artakan Bringer of Ruin, when I think about it, against Twist of Fate, if I play it from Spectral Matron and he tries the gold card, it actually just hits the Spectral Matron, which is really good. be passing here. This might be a uh, Riptide Rex. My selection speaks for itself. Hopefully he didn't yoink my one-off Ruination or one-off Harrowing. Those would feel bad. Specifically Ruination would probably feel the worst. I need more runs. Should I have Vile Feast here? No, I don't think so. So I guess we're just jamming Spectral. The question is whether or not we play the Ephemeral one or not. I don't think we play the Ephemeral one. And we should play the one that we reduced the cost of already. That's a 12 mana Thermo Beam. Holy shit. Um. I like Vile Feast here now, actually. Because we are threatening the Spectral Matron attack as well. And we could even go ahead and play Oblivious Islander too. Ah, uh, maybe reduce the cost of this Spectral since it's already ephemeral. Oh, hello there. And... You're safe with me! Full swing. I don't think you can. I don't think you can block the one one here without dying. Yeah, the only issue is I'm not playing any reach, so we can't really kill him from two without using our units. Don't blink, or you miss me. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Gotcha. I think we're just playing bringer here. The natural one. Oops, you dropped something. So we already played the Vengeance, so there's no threat of him yoinking a Vengeance from our deck, which is good. So he should be going face here, right? Nothing else makes any sense. Firing. Man overboard. <laughs> Basically comes down to the open attack. Big boy! Too much damage, buddy. It's not going to change much because once I declare the attack, that's all that matters, right? Declaring the attack. Big boy. Oh, very powerful stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well. Gonna bring, bring down the ruin. Board seems fitting as well. I 
against aggro, we probably want to keep like everything that can stop us from dying. So the wings and the wave might be fine to keep. Oh, we'll keep one oblivious islander. Just in case we do find those spectral matrons. We can reduce the cost of them and get the ball rolling. I'm gonna open with a pass here. Explosives primed. So I'm pretty sure if I reduce the cost of the wings and the wave, uh, the last wind will die. Regardless, I think we're still going to do this. I just don't want to like get punished by the Legion Saboteur pushing two damage, so it feels as if we have to play Oblivious Islander. Alternatively, I could have played uh, zero mana or one mana wings in the wave, but the zero ones don't really trade, so. I have my orders. Okay, we're going to go for the first wave. I could also play House Spider here. Yeah, house spot is probably fine. This'll shake him. Boom. Feels like a bacon. Damn it. <sighs> um Open attack is probably fine. I can really feel the stalking shadows and earth. Let's do this. The waters give you life, child. Maybe mask mother. Doesn't really trade effectively though. I think we're gonna draw cards here. Look for like vile feast or something. The wings. We also can find Dark Water Scourge, which is gonna be like a lot of healing. It's an open attack. All of these options are pretty mediocre. Guess we'll take Spectral though. We'll need that eventually. There's plenty of killing left. Let your story shine. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. Okay. There's a scourge, which I think we'll need. Like a fish in water. <laughs> so he definitely takes the open attack here. The dead don't need riches. I have to pop a cheeky vengeance here. That looks like a cheeky decimate my opponent's holding on to. So we're going to have, what are we going to have? 7 plus 1, 8 mana. Which means we can go Scourge, Mask Mother, and Black Spear next turn. 
That's a fair bit of stabilization. So basically, he's going to have to have Noxium further in hand to deny me a fair bit of healing. I'll and the wings of a I don't think he actually has it here. Because he probably would have used it when I used the Vengeance, right? Find the beginning. I guess we could just hope that there is no Vengeance here. Uh, Noxium further, pardon me. I need this healing. All right, fantastic. All of a sudden, I feel like we're back in the game. I'm curious as to whether or not I black spear the zap spray for now. Well, I'm convinced he doesn't have Noxium Fervor. I think we do. Because I haven't really got interaction with the Zap Spray Fin, and that's gonna connect to face. Try again. Like almost guaranteed. I'll break this siege. Um, this is very awkward. So he's not going to attack me, right? I wonder if we're going to play Harrowing next turn. Probably not. Maybe we are. Okay. We're gonna have to drop the Scourge here. I don't think he attacks me. I probably just get more healing, right? Oof. Okay. Okay. This is it. Is, okay? is that enough damage? Increase my power by the total power of all allies. So that's a plus 13, plus 15. This is 20 damage on the bringer of ruin right here. That's crazy. Stop it's gonna fall swing. Big boy. We know he didn't have a Noxium Fervor before. Me. We know he didn't have a Noxium Fervor before, so unless he top decked it. <laughs> Dude, minus 31 HP. Big boy!